The Cabron Summer Undergraduate Biomedical Research Program funds up to 20 students annually to participate in biomedical research. During the years 2002 to 2016, 278 students have participated in the program. The main goal of the program is to serve as a pipeline for these students to continue in health research careers. Eligible students attend Kentucky regional colleges and universities or are Kentucky residents attending out-of-state institutions. Now, in my project, uh, my, my hypothesis says that the bacterium filfactora losses uh, somehow control reactive oxygen species production. So what I'm looking at is I'm measuring how much reactive oxygen species neutrophil produce whenever they are challenged with the bacterium filfactora losses. And I'm also looking at the NADPH oxidase complex, which is responsible for producing those reactive oxygen species so that I can determine whether or not my bacterium is uh, affecting the transcription of the protein that make up that complex. My area of study this summer has been in the Department of Neurological Surgery uh, studying the relative neurotoxicity of the Zika virus capsid protein. We are looking at spinal muscular atrophy, which is the leading genetic cause of infant mortality. And we're specifically looking at something called the SURF gene, which we uh, hypothesize could be a, gen a genetic modifier for the disease. So what I'm specifically doing is I'm looking at uh, Drosophila using that as a model and I'm knocking down or reducing the amount of the SURF gene in the flies to kind of see what the phenotypic effect of uh, on the flies within this SMA background is. Um, our lab works on different neural circuits within the CNS, so my project that I'm working on is the cholinergic system, with, which deals with acetylcholine release, and so we're looking at modulating this circuit through different techniques, which is through pharmacology, thermogenetics, and optogenetics. Several mice that have been uh, injected with a P23H mutation, which is a known cause of retinitis pigmentosa. My job this summer is to study them from an anatomical standpoint. I make slices of the retina using a cryostat and then perform the process of immunohistochemistry to apply primary, secondary, and fluorescent markers to the retina. I then um, look at them using a confocal microscope and study the differences in the anatomy based off of the retina that have the P23H mutation and wild type retina. Okay, so I've been working with uh, circadian rhythm and biological clocks in a bacteria called Enterobacter erogenous. And so what we've been looking at is trying to see if the bacteria itself has a biological clock that can work uh, alongside the human gut bacteria, or the human gut biological clock. So there's never been any research found where a bacteria such as this has a clock in itself. So this is hopefully new and groundbreaking, but we're not quite sure about how far we're going to be able to take it yet. Um, it's been cool to do actual research that isn't just sort of a practice in class, to, have, to do something that is actually going to matter for something down the road. That was really cool that it goes straight from the patient's stomach over here. We got to then take it and put it under this hood and all, aquat all the blood and cells out and we got to put it under a microscope and see the exact like histology of this is a cancer stem cell, this is what wow. we believe you know causes the cancer. Then we spun all that down and made plasma out of it which we will also use to make RNA and DNA and everything that we like um, test. So I personally got a um, crash course in using the real-time PCR and uh, setting it up correctly and um, so now I know everything that there is to know about this machine. <laughs> and some people don't even get to use them in undergraduate, so that's just pretty awesome. I've learned a lot more about the genetics behind some of these fly crosses and um, a lot more about physiology because that's actually what Dr. Guru's lab specializes in, more so than I guess the genetics of these other labs. But, so I learned a lot about that and it's pretty neat. learned a lot about the internal systems of flies and crayfish and humans by kind of extension of that. And yeah, so that's pretty neat. And also, uh, just as far as the research part goes, I've learned, I mean, I have labs at Center, and obviously we do lab work, but some of it's like, okay, 
you know, do this, this, and this, and you'll receive this product or something. This is more like, we're going to do this and see what happens, and then kind of try to explain that, which I think is cool. Um, and there, like I said, there is some of that center as well, but a lot of it's more geared towards like the learning aspect than it is the actual like, discovery. A lot of the work that we do is a lot of physiology, and I've already taken physiology courses, so that helped learning background, but it was also great learning how to apply that with what's going on today and doing like new and groundbreaking things. I think a lot of the um, analysis of the data, uh, being involved in the uh, scientific thought behind it with your PI, I think it's been uh, very engaging. Um, it's been very enlightening in, into what um, a career in research would look like. I was very ecstatic when I found out that I was going to be uh, studying the Zika virus. You know, I think this is an incredible opportunity um, and to be able to uh, contribute in some way, um, you know, no matter how small to this effort, it's definitely um, a great capstone to my undergraduate career. One thing that I hadn't actually ever done myself was PCR, and I think I calculated this summer I will have done like a thousand iterations of it, so I, I know PCR now. So my mentor is Dr. Hedman, and uh, he and I have been in uh, you know constant contact throughout the summer. Um, obviously, coordinating the projects, um, you know, um, the expectations were made very clear to me from the beginning of the program, and um, you know he's really been great with immersing me into um, what a research project is really like, and uh, you know giving me the tools to succeed in uh, carrying out that project. Uh, Dr. Cooper, he's super helpful. Like he'll go out of his way to help anybody, and like there's other labs that come in and ask him to do stuff, and he'll help. So whenever I have a question, he's really helpful. But also, Cole, he's the other grad student here that I've been working with, is awesome. Any question that I have, he's really good for answering. Um, um, well, first we had everybody's lab mentors come in, and they talked about what their lab does and what their Cabrin student's planning on doing. And then also we had people from outside, like um, we went over to the med school and talked to their admissions and the process that you have to go through and if you are wanted to be informed on that. Um, a little engineering, chemistry, try to hit all the bases that everybody in the program was interested in. Each week we have a weekly seminar and so I get to hear about a lot of what other people are researching on and I think it's a great opportunity to take what I've learned in undergraduate classes and really apply it to research that's being conducted in the field because a lot of the times this is state-of-the-art um, cutting-edge research and just to be able to hear what other people are doing, I think it's really interesting. Um, it also kind of helps me get a better feel of, oh, would I be interested in studying this, or would I be interested in researching that? And just kind of helps me get a better feel of where I want to go from here on out. It's very interesting to learn what everyone's doing and how some people may be doing studies that are somewhat related to what you're studying. And then it's also cool to have uh, the head of different departments come and talk to you about their uh, respective PhD programs and, and majors and, and all the things that the school has to offer. Okay, bit, I, what, is, uh, what does it mean in the difference between 40 and 60 in the reconstruction? Basically what it means. All students attend and present a research poster on poster day at the end of the summer program. In addition, they must attend and present a poster at the annual Kentucky Academy of Science meeting in the fall. So coming into this program, I wasn't quite sure um, if research was really the path for me or not. Um, it, I've really thought about medical school very heavily. And now after uh, going through this program, I do think I would like to do some type of research uh, later on in my life. Um, I still plan on going to medical school and hopefully um, maybe pursuing some type of a dual degree program. Um, and obviously being particip uh, participating in research um, while I'm a medical student, hopefully. Um, I think my career plans have been a little strengthened, getting passionate about something, and I still want to stay on the pre-med track, but also with the side of research, maybe trying to enter an MD-PhD program, but not sure about that. But I really like getting the experience of going out and doing research. It's been a great opportunity, and I'm thankful to have had it. It's definitely encouraged me and enforced my decision to go into research. Students' work can result in the opportunity to publish in peer-reviewed journals. Here is a list of publications produced by Cabrin students who worked with Dr. Robin Cooper. Uh, 
good. Uh, this is an amazing program. I learned a lot this summer. Um, for instance, I took biochemistry uh, last spring and there were a lot of different techniques we talked about in that class. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lab, so it was very difficult to uh, relate with what the professor was talking about. But coming to this lab, everything is coming together because everything you talked about in class, all the different techniques, we are uh, using it in my lab. I mean, Western blood, ELISA, PQCR, and that is really exciting um, to see all the pieces coming together. And I got to enhance a lot of skills, uh, problem solving, critical thinking, uh, teamwork, and um, so I would definitely recommend this uh, program to anyone.